Mikey Pipes going on my fifth service call Sunday right before Labor Day 2021. Figured I'll feed you guys because I know you're hungry. You're very, very hungry. And I got a customer not too far away from me, about five blocks from my house. He's got a central air conditioning system that stopped working Arab Shabbat, which is Friday afternoon, Friday evening. It was 80 degrees in his house yesterday. He's got young kids in there and he's schwitzing like a momser. Let's go see what we can fix them and fill them up with some Freon or whatever it needs. Stay tuned, make sure you thumbs up and check us out on Discord and WhatsApp. Links in the description box down below. So I think this, the airs was put on like 15 or 20 years ago. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's, I've had other technicians in the past. I think there's a free on leak that okay. I just keep putting it in and hope for the best because I don't have the money to. Eventually you're gonna have to come with the money. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I'm, I'm not at okay. that point. Let's see the thermostat and what so, yeah. the filter is. Make sure that that's where it should be. Okay, so thermostat. Good morning. My okay, I'm gonna try this And if it's on the unit itself, should it be checked every six, 12 months? The unit, so meaning the one inside the area, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, um, so I could, I could show you yeah. in here if you want. Okay. It's a little bit of a climb and it's a little bit of a mess. Right, let's see. My apologies. No problem. Um, through that door. <laughs> <laughs> See up here. When's the last time someone was up here? Um, so I had someone come in with uh, all that good stuff, probably. <laughs> Honestly, no, maybe a year ago. Okay. <sighs> of that and the best way is to put a filter in there. Filter access panel. Alright, so let's turn this on. 72. Oh, that's good. Alright, let's go see outside. With me. Let's see. How'd you hear about us? Um I actually saw the truck today on oh, okay. but, um I, I Googled it. Have you guys seen it? Well, she's not running. Let's try this first. High pressure. And because this motor is not turning. Wonderful. Let me get some tools to see why she's not spinning. She don't really like to spin. Capacitor's good. 825 fifth horsepower. I got an 850 in the truck. I'm just going to spray down the shaft as best as I can. I 
put that down before he soak into that so I can pull this fan blade off. The capacitor. I took the wires off C and also fan, and I had five microfarads there. That's what it's rated for. See? All right. The fan blade pull on. All right, I got the new condenser fan motor in place. Back in the liquid tight, there's the reversing wires. The leads were not long enough to reach the contactor. Kind of odd. So I used some two wire Wagos, the lever 221s. So them wire, some new connectors, put my capacitor there off to the side, and I'm just gonna secure the fan motor grill, plug her in, and see what happens. All right, what the fuck? Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Oh. All right, she works. I need to get a new disconnect here. Pronto. It's a major no-no. This probably if it's fused we know it's fused inside the circuit breaker but that's a big big no-no don't do that stuff hacks all right a couple observations not that it makes a difference we should insulate the remainder of this 7 8 line set again we should disconnect should be replaced uh, looks like about a third of the condenser is blocked by this uh, overhang here. That's not good. If possible, if we can move it over, eh, you're not gonna have enough play in the line set, but that should come out further from the house. The condensing coil has minimal dirt on one side, two sides. When you come to the last side, she's uh, wearing a coat there. She's wearing a coat. So, if this was a normal service call during the week, I would spend another hour here, hour and a half, and do a full disassembly of this. But since it is a Sunday at a premium rate, we addressed the immediate issue, which is replacing the dead condenser fan motor. And we'll talk to him and schedule maintenance on the rest of the stuff. If he wants to do it this year or next year, he also says he wants to save to replace the system. But it is what it is. All right, so a little bit more than an hour on site. Replaced the condenser fan motor. Made him aware of the hazard with the disconnect. Made him aware that, you know, the coil fairly is, is dirty. But one side in particular, very dirty. It needs a full disassembly in order to really get that clean. He goes, listen, I'll, uh, I'll schedule, you know, before next cooling season. You just want to get through the holidays. I'm like, all right. He, goes, but he was more concerned if he needed Freon, which it didn't. And uh, I don't hook up gauges to a system unless I absolutely need to. That system I let run for about 15 minutes. The discharge, the air being discharged at the top of the condenser was nice and hot. And my suction line was uh, condensating and was not freezing up. So again, I, maybe I spent another, if I spent another 20 minutes there, I'd probably still see the same thing, but I, abs I don't add, I don't connect my manifold to the system unless I need to address that. And because every time you add, you lose a little bit. And with Freon being, you know, a phased out refrigerant, it's really not being manufactured anymore. I'm not taking uh, any chances, you know. It is what it is. That's what I say, it is what it is. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What did you think about that condenser uh, motor swap out? All right, as always, be well, God bless, stay safe.